name is Kevin O'Carroll. I'm an occupational therapist at Waterloo Sports Medicine. I provide custom splinting and bracing services. So we treat uh, anywhere from acute injuries to chronic conditions. Uh, so for example, we treat athletes who have sustained finger injuries, uh, basketball, football. Uh, so any injuries to the hand or the wrist we're able to immobilize with custom splinting. And then chronic conditions like de Quervain syndrome uh, or carpal tunnel syndrome we're able to provide uh, custom splinting or functional braces uh, so that people can continue engaging in meaningful activities with less symptoms. Typically we usually uh, have to get an, a referral from a, a doctor, someone like Dr. Lee who would do the initial assessment, uh, provide a diagnosis and then I usually see the, the client to provide the actual splint that has been recommended. Uh, splinting can typically take anywhere from uh, 15 minutes for a small splint like a mallet splint for any uh, finger related injuries or up to an hour for uh, large splints that we use to immobilize elbows uh, for elbow fractures or forearm fractures. We do custom fabricate all splints on site um, and most times uh, clients can walk away the same day with the splint. Uh, sometimes depending on the size of the splint and the type of position we're putting people in, um, splints can take a, a few days to uh, functionally create and have ready. There are times when we have to use over-the-counter prefabricated braces, uh, so we work closely with pass bracing here at uh, Waterloo Sports Medicine, uh, and then clients have the option to purchase aesthetically good-looking braces that we customize uh, so that they can continue uh, functioning in meaningful activities. Splint wear and care instructions are very important to follow uh, because a splint is used to immobilize a bone or a joint to allow for healing. Um, if clients uh, do not adhere to splint wear and care schedules, uh, they risk potentially re-injuring um, or creating chronic conditions because of not following splinting instructions. I've always wanted to help people and, uh, and always wanted to work with athletes so I thought it would be a great skill uh, to be able to uh, use my hands and, and use a technical aspect uh, to help uh, healthy young athletes and, and people trying to really continue living to the fullest of their abilities. Mm -hmm.